The condition is named after the Italian actor Leopold Fragoli, who was renowned for his ability to make quick changes of appearance during a stage act so much so that while he was performing in London in the 1890's, unkind rumors spread that there was more than one Fragoli. The Fragoli delusion, or Fragoli syndrome, is a rare disorder in which a person holds a delusional belief that different people are in fact a single person who changes appearance or is in disguise. The syndrome may be related to a brain lesion and is often of a paranoid nature with the delusional person believing that he or she is being persecuted by the person he or she believes to be in disguise. Delusional misidentification syndromes such as Fregoli are rooted in the inability to register the identity of something, whether it is an object, event, place, or even a person. All of these various syndromes have a common denominator. They are all due to malfunctional familiarity processing during information processing. Other commonalities among these syndromes are that they are discriminatory in which objects are misidentified. Lastly, dopamine hyperactivity is evident in all DMS syndromes, and thus all syndromes utilize antipsychotic medications to help control DMS. Past studies have shown correlations between DMS and damages to the right hemispheric function, which has an array of functions such as insight, 3D shapes, art awareness, imagination, left hand controlled, and music awareness to name a few. In recent years, the P300 auditory component, which forms in response to a detection task that occurs a short time after a stimulus, has acquired a great deal of recognition. The P300 component is an index of mental activity in that its amplitude increases highly with increased stimuli. The P300 component is correlated with updating the working memory to what is expected in the environment. Other findings enhance the belief that defects in the working memory are associated with DMS. P. E. et al. hypothesized that electrophysiological brain activity in the working memory and P300 component can help identify the mechanisms of DMS. Thus, they concentrated on P300 release during a working memory test in DMS patients. In the table that you see, P. et al. found that DMS patients had a lower P300 amplitude in the right hemisphere compared to the control group, which were non-DMS patients. From this result, the researchers implied that shorter P300 amplitudes are highly correlated with gray matter abnormalities. This finding is consistent with the DMS patient's characteristics and the presence of gray matter deterioration. DMS patients were also found to have prolonged P300 lag and their memory performance was lower than the control groups. The researchers were thus able to imply that DMS patients have trouble in focusing their resources to a stimulus. This was hypothesized to be caused by the neurodegeneration of the right hemisphere.